Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to talk about the question minimum number of jumps to reach an end of an array. So the question is, given an array, what is the minimum number of jumps it, go, it takes to go from start of an array to end of an array if it is given that you can jump as many steps from a particular point as a value at that point. So for this example from 2, I can jump from 0, I can jump to 1 and 2 because the value here is 2. From index 1, I can jump 2, 3, and 4 because the value here is 3, and so on. So what is the minimum number of jumps it will take to reach the end? So for this particular use case, it will be like I jump one step from 0 to 1. From 1, I jump three steps to reach 4. From 4, I jump one step to reach 5 because the maximum I can jump is 2. And from four, I jumped four steps to reach the nine. From five, I, steps, I jumped four steps to reach nine. So here it took four jumps to reach from zero to nine. So uh, how do we solve this? Yes, we will use dynamic programming to solve this question. So here I have two uh, different arrays as of same length as the original array. This array will keep the number of jumps and this array will keep the actual ant actual jump. All right, let's start from uh, let's start from i is this one. When my i is one and my j is zero, what I'm checking is can I reach can I reach from j to i? Yes, I can because from j I can jump two steps, and i falls in that range. So the minimum number of jumps re to reach i will be 1 and the way we reach is from position 0. Now my i is 2 and j is again 0. zero. So can I reach i from j? Yes, because 0 plus 2 is 2. So this guy is in range. So minimum number of jumps to reach 1 is again 1 and we reach here from 0. Now my j will be 1. Can I reach uh, 1 from 2? Yes, because I can jump 3 steps from 1 and reach 1 of, and we can reach 2. So what is the minimum number of? Minimum number of jumps will be minimum number of jumps to reach J, which is 1, plus 1, which is 2, which is greater than 1. So we do nothing about it. So now my i is uh, 3 and my j is 0. Can I reach 3 from 0? No, because 2 from 0, you can at max jump 2 steps. So this is no good. Can I reach uh, i from 1? Yes, because you can jump 3 steps from here. So the minimum number of steps to reach i will be the minimum number of steps to reach j plus 1, so that's 2. And let's indicate that we are reaching 3 from uh, 1. All right. Now my j is uh, 2. Can I read j from i? Yes, because you can jump 1 from here. The minimum number of steps will be 1 plus this jump 2, which is not less than 2, so we won't touch it. So now my i is 4 and my j is 0 again. Can I reach uh, i from, j z from 0? No, because I can at max jump 2 steps. So my i is 1. Can I reach uh, 4 from 1? Yes, because I can jump 3 steps from here. So the minimum number of jumps to reach 4 will be whatever I can reach with uh, 1 plus 1, so that's 2. Let's indicate that we are reaching 4 from 1. Okay. Can I reach uh, 4 from 2? No, because this value is 1, so it max it jump is 1. Can I reach 4 from 3? Yes. So the minimum number of jumps to reach 3 is already 2. So if you reach 4 via 3, it will take 3 jumps to reach 4. So that's not better than 2, so we will not touch uh, 4 at all. So let's start for 5. i is 5. When i is 5, can you reach 5 from 0? No. Can you reach 5 from 1? No, because from 1 at max you can jump as 3 steps, so at max you can reach is 4. Can you reach uh, i from 2? No, because you can jump 1. Can you reach from 3? No. Can you reach from 4? Yes. So when my i is 4, I can take one step and reach 5. So the minimum number of steps to reach 5 is minimum number of steps to reach 4, which is 2, plus 1, so that's 3. 
And let's indicate that I'm reaching four. I'm reaching five from four. Can I reach six from zero? I cannot. Can I reach six from one directly? No. From two? No. From three? No. From four? Yes. So from four, uh, the number of minimum number of ways to reach six will be two. So the minimum number of ways to reach four, which is two, plus one jump. So that's three. Let's indicate that we are reaching six from four. J. Can I reach? Uh, can I reach six from uh, five? Yes, I can. So the minimum number of jumps will be three to reach five plus one four. So that's not better than three. So we don't touch it. Let's update i as this guy. Can I reach seven from zero directly? No. From one? No. From two? No. From three? No. From four? No. From five? Yes. So minimum number of jumps to reach seven from via five will be four because it takes three to reach five and then one to jump from five to seven. And let's indicate that we're coming here via five. From six, again, we can reach seven and minimum number of jumps will be three plus one, four, which is not better than four, so we don't touch it. Let's update for i is equal to eight. Can you reach i from uh, zero directly? No, one, no, two, no, three, no, four, no, from five, yes. Minimum number of jumps will be whatever we can reach at five plus one, so four. And let's indicate we reached here from five. And from six, also we can reach eight. Minimum number of jumps again stays four, so we don't touch it. From seven, we cannot do anything because the value at seven is zero. So finally, let's deal for i is equal to 9. From 0, you cannot reach 9 directly. From 1, you cannot reach 9 directly. From 2, no. 3, no. 4, no. 5, yes. So from 5, you can reach 9 directly. And the minimum number of jumps to reach 9 will be whatever it takes to reach 5, 3 plus 1, 4. And let's indicate that I reached here via 5. From 6, you cannot reach 9. From 7, you cannot reach 9. From 8, you can reach 9 because you can jump 1 from here. Minimum will be 4 plus 1, 5, which is not better than what I can reach from 5, so this stays 4. Alright, so 4 is my final answer. So the minimum number of jumps it takes to reach 9 is 4. If someone asks you, what is that jump, what are the steps you take, you can use the second order to find the answer. So we know that we reached 9. We know that to reach 9, I had to jump from 5, so 5 is an answer, and we go to 5. We know that to reach 5, I came from 4, so 4 is an answer, and we go to 4. We know that to reach 4, we came from 1, so 1 is an answer, and we go to 1, and then to go to 1, we came from 0. So this is it. I go from 0 to 1, 1 to 4, 4 to 5, and 5 to 9, and the minimum number of jumps is 4. Let me quickly write the formula for this one. If i is less than j plus input of j, then t of i is equal to minimum of what is already in t of i or T of J plus 1. If you want the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview. If you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to 2525. Thanks for watching this video.